1 over the tangent of x. Now, here's what you need to do to solve or to verify an identity. You need to pick the side, either this side or this side, and work through modifying it, changing it. The one thing you can't do is move things to the other side until you make what's on this side look exactly what's on, like what's on this side. And I really mean that last step, better have the exact same thing down here at the bottom that you've got up here on top. Which side do you guys want to do? The left side. You want to do the left side? What do you want to do Break to the left apart. side? Break it apart. Uh, Break minus. it apart into two fractions? Yeah. Notice, because these two are added together over the same denominator, I can break it up into two fractions, sine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x over the sine of x. If the denominator had addition or subtraction in it, I could not do this. You can't break up a denominator this way, but you can break up a numerator so that each piece of the numerator is over the whole denominator. Sine of x divided by sine of x can be simplified to be 1. We know what the cosine of x over the sine of x is. Yes? What is it? It's the cotangent. Am I done yet? No, because I still don't look quite like the right side. So the one part's good. I want to keep that. Cotangent of x. Is there another way to write it so that I can end up over looking like that? One over the tangent of x. So yes, it can be done. I have now verified it because this thing matches that thing exactly. Yes? Can you break down both sides?